Hello, and today we're joined by Alex the Wonder Dog, who's sitting in on this unboxing, and he proves that uh, even the sun shines on the dog's ass occasionally. And uh, today, uh, this box was bought from a burning shed. It took its name when the owners uh, went to their local pizza and saw it was on fire. I might be wrong about that. See, burning shed, pizza hut on fire. Get the gag. Eee. Anyway, um, yeah, burning shed down. We get it. Um, so yeah, we know what's inside the box. I've just got to flip it over and pull out Swissy, my f ever faithful companion, and um, let's start cutting our way in. Well, oh, this one's a bit of a tough one. I think I must be drinking because. Uh, I didn't get it open in one go, but um, we're in. We're in. This is the most exciting part of the unboxing. Um, it goes down a hill after this, I believe. Um, and what's inside here? Oh, it's another box and a catalogue of um, Burning Shed's vinyl uh, releases, because they do loads of limited releases for us vinyl people. Do you like vinyl? I love vinyl. Anyway, we've got another box to open. It's a bit like past the parcel, isn't it? You know, except there's no music and uh, there are no children vomiting up jelly. Um, so here we go again. Mm -hmm. Don't want to cut the box set inside, so be careful. And we're, oh, this is dramatic stuff. I need some dramatic music. And we, we're, are we in yet? That's what she said. Uh, and that's it. We're in. This is the Grace for Drowning box set by Stephen Wilson, the new solo album. And, um, well, there you go. It's blue. And it's shiny. It's even his camcorder again. And it's got his hand right now. Looks like um, a spider's fallen into an inkwell and caught across the page. And, oh, look, he's fucked it up there. Look, he's scribbled all over it. What's wrong with you, Wilson? Couldn't you use Tipex? Um, so now we've got to, I guess we've got to cut away inside here. Again, don't want to damage the box set. I have nerves of steel for this, you know. Nerves of steel. See, did you see my handshake there? Um, so anyway, more cellophane. Uh, oh, look at that. that. That's a different technique I've used there. Yeah, That was an advanced technique for opening cellophane. It's the underhand uh, knife technique. Uh, not sure if you've seen that before in unboxing. I try and do something different to keep you entertained. Let's look inside and... There are two discs. I guess these are CDs. Yep, they're CDs. And, well, he's certainly been busy with a pencil. He's scribbled over everything. The blighter. And uh, that's disc two. Uh, and this is disc one. I think I've got out the wrong way around. Uh, and there you go. Was that disc two? I don't know. I think that's disc two. <laughs> um, anyway, those are two CDs. Let's open the booklet. Oh look, it's like it's it's printed on that toilet paper you used to get at school. Oh, Moody, Stephen Wilson, Moody. And more scribbling. In fact, the actual paper that it's printed on is quite, it's quite, um, yeah, quite delicate. It's quite unusual because the the rest of the book's sturdy, but that paper you really you could really crumple it up. I was a bit concerned about that. And as you can see, they've got this uh, gothic style that. Predominates uh, Lasso Hoyle's work. Oh, the Alex, Alex, look! Attack! 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 Oh, he's asleep. He ain't moving. If he was awake, could have had him. That's Stephen Wilson there after a few drinks. Um, more moody, moody stuff. Oh, look at that! Who, who, look at that photography. They cut his head off. That's just terrible. Uh, and there he is. He's, uh, he smells. He's alone. He's not a friend of the world. It's because he's got the wind. Chronic flatulence. That's what I've heard. And um, there's a horse, and there's... I think I went there on holiday. Uh, and there's another horse again. And it's very moody. Very moody. It's for, this is for those people that sit alone in their bedrooms with razor blades dressed in black. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, the Andrex puppy has run amok. You might want to Google that, you American folks. Andrex puppy, Google it, you'll get the gag. And, oh dear... God, I'm getting, I'm getting quite depressed. It's really getting me down now. And, uh, yep, yeah, Andrix puppy's been busy again. Uh, it's 
I'm beginning to beginning to be a bit familiar. And uh, page. Oh, look, his girlfriend's so bad. Look, he's just torn torn her head off. Uh, oh, moody, moody, moody. More moody pictures. Moody Polaroids even. Or are they real Polaroids or are they fake Polaroids? Photoshop Polaroids. We'll never know. But yeah, I mean, after a while, you know, the style of this stuff, it tends to be, um, you yeah. know, oh, I don't know, kind of weighs you down. I want a picture of a butterfly. I've definitely been there on holiday. That was, that's, that, well, I've definitely been there on holiday. I went there last year, had a miserable time. Um, very moody. Is it moody enough for you? Is it? Are you finding this moody enough? We haven't even listened to the record yet, and it's just, it's getting you prepared for the, the misery and woe that's on the record. Look, see? Just, did you see? He scribbled everything up. And there he is, he's looking wistfully out the sea. And that's somebody who's listened to the record. Look, oh, turn it off, turn it off. Oh, that's more like it. Titties, 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 titties. They're not real titties. It's a shame. Now, now report this person to social services. You do not, do not treat your children like that. You do not set them on fire. Even if they've back chat, you don't set them on fire and you don't let them stand naked in the North Sea. That's just wrong. Ah, dear. And uh, there's your average uh, porcupine tree family. Uh, waiting for breakfast and some more dummies, more mannequins dummies, all dummies, dummies, porcupine tree fans dummies, same thing uh, leave your comments in the comment box below uh, I'm in trouble now aren't I um, it's like picking a fight with a Meridian fan and they start firebombing your house um, and uh, more pseudo gothic Victoriana type stuff to get you moody 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 and look they're all having a laugh look someone told a joke how many Stephen Wilson's does it take to change the light bulb and look pasta pasta attack you know Stephen Wilson's cooking's that bad that they vomited everywhere and that reminds me of uh, Push It by Garbage you ever seen that video? a lot of the imagery yes yes that, a lot of the imagery is in this that reminds me of a story of an editor I worked with he used to like uh, rapping men in cling film. He was a he, he was gay. And, like, that's not a problem. But his particular fetish was to wrap his his lovers in cling film and keep them in the attic. And one guy kept an erection for over an hour wrapped in cling film. That's what an astounding feat. I bet you didn't really want to know that, did you? No, anyway, yeah, uh, we carry on, carry on. And um, and the Andrix puppy's been at it again. Look, that naughty dog. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I just don't know what to make of it. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's all a bit depressing, isn't it, really? Make Pink Floyd look like the Don Bonzo Dog Doodah Band. And there's Stephen Wilson there at the, the last, but, that, but that's, that's, that's definitely, that's definitely uh, um, California Sands. There's Stephen Wilson as a young boy. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but he's actually the great nephew of uh, Richard Wilson from Only One Foot in the Grave, and uh, it was him that helped him con coin the phrase, I don't believe it, because he said to him, what are you doing? He said, I'm going to form a progressive rock band, and he said, I, I don't believe it, and so a catchphrase was born, uh, again, you, you, the American fans are going to have to uh, go to Google or Wikipedia uh, for that, and there's a CD. And this is the Blu-ray disc with all the surroundy sounding gubbins. And I really do like Stephen Wilson's surround sound work. He's, he's a very good producer. Not a big fan of his music, but his production. he's got a fine set of ears on him at that point. Uh, even though he's got a face like a weasel, his ears are fantastic. And it's a lovely box set. Probably coming soon to eBay. Uh, <laughs> soon. Depends if I survive the listening. And let's pan back round to Alex for his professional opinion. And as you can see, he's not he's not really impressed. I'm just going to get myself comfortable. He is a, actually a West Highland Terrier. Uh, he comes in one size, a uh, jumbo. Uh, we've had him for hmm, nearly a decade now, got him from a rescue centre. And 
yeah, it's like having an old granddad around who farts and, and burps and throws up everywhere. But yeah, that was my unboxing for Grace for Drowning by Stephen Wilson. You better go and prog on. Can't get cut. Knows I'm watching. Knows the cameras on. You can't get cut.